Well guys, this took me a long time, but um, I'm finally here with my own personal review of Borderlands 3, and I can honestly say that it's worth the wait, honestly. I mean, the game pretty much plays is similar to every other Borderlands game that's come out at the time, and it also follows what happens after Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, as well as Tales from the Borderlands, which is kind of a bummer for me because I only played the first episode of Tales from the Borderlands because... I'm not that much of a big fan of the Telltale series, but other than that, Borderlands 3 is probably the best game that's ever come out of 2019, or one of the best games that ever come out. Late at night, I'm still pre pretty much playing the game right now, but I decided to just go ahead and pretty much give you guys my two cents on the game and everything. So Borderlands 3 takes place after Borderlands 2, in which um, Lilith still leads the Crimson um, Raiders. And they're still pretty much um, trying to find more of the vault. But now they're pretty much going against a new villain or villains, which are um, the Calypso twins that pretty much run a cult, which are called the Children of the Vault. So basically, they're looking for the vault just so they can take over the, the entire galaxy and whatnot. And now you're playing as four new vault hunters. You're playing as the Beastmaster, which you can pretty much control other beasts such as spider ants, skags, and even racks and use these beasts to attack other people. You're playing as the gunner which you can pretty much use a gigantic mech to shoot down enemies and whatnot. The siren, this one, uses her fists. And last but certainly not least, the asshole. I'm gonna call him that because he kind of is one. He's kind of like a John Constantine, pretty much like has gadgets and whatnot and what and whatever. But honestly, these Vault Hunters, they're pretty much bring something interesting and new to the table, which pretty much adds more to the lore and pretty much makes the game more fun the more you play them and everything. And like I said, you pretty much see characters that you've seen in other Borderlands properties and so on and so forth. And it, um, pretty much shows that you know what they've been doing what they're going through now and how they're able to help you and whatnot and the best thing about this game is the as always the guns <laughs> like the more you play the game the more ridiculous the guns get and the more um you pretty much collect these guns the more fun they are to use like literally throughout my gameplay i think i pretty much found a gun that pretty much like shoots out like 80s techno beats and everything like that and it's really really ridiculous the developers pretty much put in so much more to the game to where it doesn't get boring like you could still go back and play the game just the same as you can go back and play borderlands 2 you can go back and play the pre-sequel the first borderlands it doesn't even matter like they pretty much um put so much time and so much effort into pretty much bringing us a really decent experience and it shows no glitches nothing no bugs that will pretty much hinder the game none of the whole um first day breakdown of the game or whatnot it's just fun times shooting cycles in the face going on a new adventure as well as pretty much going to different planets as well and pretty much exploring and whatnot and also it, there's the treat of pretty much meeting old characters familiar and not it's it's a really really great experience and i am so glad that they pretty much decided to um release it now in the state that it's in they put so much time into it they treat it with care and i'm um, playing it now just shows how much gearbox cares for the fans and how much they were willing to pretty much put so much time and effort no matter how long it took to give us an enriching experiment this is kind of like saying thank you for playing the game and being a part of this series for a very very long time and you feel that the more you play the game and i enjoy every single moment of it i'm still playing it right now i haven't beaten the game i don't want to know what happens afterwards i'm trying to stay off the internet just so i can can finish the game i'm probably gonna um make a video um later on and pretty much showcase some of the gameplay footage and whatnot. But um, other than that, guys, is Borderlands 3 worth getting? Yes. Would anybody pretty much pick up this game and enjoy it? Hell yes. This is the same as every other Borderlands game. If you don't know anything about Borderlands or if you're new to Borderlands, you can pick up any Borderlands, start playing it, and pretty much have a blast with it. But if you want to try and um, get into the story of Borderlands 3, I would say 
play the first one first, the second one, and then play Tales from the Borderlands. Borderlands pre-sequel doesn't really matter. But if you just want to play the game and if you want my opinion on how I feel about it, it's freaking good. So if you pretty much don't own a copy of Borderlands 3 and if you want to give it a try, you, you go out, you buy it, you play it, and you pretty much like draw up your own conclusion of it because you already know how I feel. I've been a fan of this series ever since 2012 and I have not, I repeat, have not looked back on the series since. Ever since like Gearbox has pretty much announced Borderlands 3, I've been anticipating it i've been on the edge of my seat i've been waiting for this moment and now here it is and i'm playing the game and i'm enjoying every single freaking moment of it so yeah borderlands 3 definite must have and definitely one of the best games of 2019 for me and also i'm going back to playing the game now and i'm going to try to finish it and I'm probably not going to be on the internet for a couple of days. So, yeah, if you guys want any more information on Borderlands 3, you can just search it or whatever on YouTube and you can find, like, the nearest video that will pretty much explain everything on it. Now, if you want my advice on pretty much the best on character to use in the game, I would say Beastmaster because of the fact that this character pretty much has different pets and these pets will pretty much save your ass more times than once because i know they have saved mine many 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 times and i'm still enjoying playing as this character right now i know i pretty much have like three other characters to play as later on in the game but you know i'll cross that bridge when i come to it but anyway guys that's been my video and everything that's how i feel about borderlands 3 thank you guys so much for watching and if you pretty much enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button i'm sorry if i sound so monotone and i haven't been really like being you know upbeat and everything it's just i've been really really tired and working like for days now i hardly had time to do anything and whatnot and this is the first time in forever i'm making a video so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.